right, Megan. So, what we'll be working on then today is scared to be alone. Is that still okay? Yes. Okay. And when I pause, sometimes I'll just be rewriting my own notes. Okay. Yep. All right. So, how are you feeling today? Well, I'm actually feeling pretty calm and rested. Yep. Great. In your opinion, are you stressed? Um, I'd say a little bit, yes. Okay. Anything I should know about? Uh, some of it's just financial worries, and then I think uh, just the school, homework, catch up on homework and stuff. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, financially, what number of 10 is really, really major oh, issue? It be like a 3. Okay. Mm -hmm. School and homework, same question. Oh, it's like a 3. Okay. Right. So just a little. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you are doing the school therapies. Anything else I should know about? Uh, no, not anything outside of that. Okay. All right. Um, and have you ever had a similar session? Like, have you ever had a real hypnosis session? No. Okay. Uh, any other health concerns I should know about? No, I'm feeling good now. And any expectations? I just maybe want to have a sense of clarity or a sense of open new insights into my issue here now. Okay. Great. All right. So we will again look at the issue of scared to be alone, whatever that ends up bringing us to. Okay. So we're ready to go into induction. So go ahead and take a deep breath. All the way down to your toes and relax in your body knowing that you're safe and knowing that you're actually the one in control of this session breathing in breathing out and actually the next picture I see is yoga so imagine yourself relaxing into your most comfortable yoga stance or if it's lying down, whatever that is for you, your pose. And sense how relaxed you are in that pose. And as you breathe, your body gets more relaxed. And maybe you decide that you want a new pose. And you go into another relaxation yoga pose. Great. And what I'd like you to do is spend a moment or two, if that's relaxing for you, to just keep doing different poses. And then as soon as you are really relaxed and very comfortable, you'll actually go to your safe place. And once you're at your safe place, please tell me about it. So make this place 360 degrees around you, above you, below you, everywhere, is safe. It's your haven. It's your place to rejuvenate, regenerate. Only thing that can come in there is if you invite it in. So if that's making a bubble for you, imagining whatever amount of space that is, this is your safe place. And of course, knowing that this is the place that while we're in session, that I might bring you back to so that uh, your body can just recruit real quick and if we need to move to the next section or it's your out so if if we get into a situation that you don't want to deal with 
then you can automatically go back to the safe place. Knowing that at any time you can open your eyes and come right out of the moment again too if you need to, if it's even don't want to just go back to your safe place. So meaning that you are in control of this session. All I'm here to do is help guide you. That makes sense? Great. So in a moment, I'm not going to use the word a teleport maybe, but maybe you're going to walk down a path, whatever you choose. It's going to be your choice of how we're going to get there. But somehow you're just going to be into the scene of scared to be alone. Now if that means you have to back up in time to your childhood or something, something, you'll just be there and you're going to tell me about it. What's the first thought that comes to you when the words scared to be alone are mentioned? Or just being physically alone, like mm -hmm. physically not having anybody with me. All right. Now describe that to me a little more. So, have you ever been alone? Like, do you know what that feels like? Oh, I would say for sure, yes, yes. Okay, and so tell me about that. Mm -hmm. I think it's just uh, growing up, like. Even though I had sisters and had family, and there was lots of times I just spent alone, like in my room or by myself. Was that a choice? Uh, partly, yes, it would be. What was the part that wasn't the choice? I think it was just not feeling like they wanted, like I wasn't wanting to be around, like they didn't want to be around me. Okay, so, so you... they were off doing other things and I didn't really fit in to what they were doing or what was going on, so I just go do my own thing. Go to my room or paint or read a book or do whatever, right? Okay. Now, question. I just need to understand this just a little bit better. So, if I heard you right, what I heard was um, you somehow you thought that they didn't want to be around you. Right. So, my question would be is under hypnosis, you can actually pick a moment anytime in your life. And kind of look at it through a bird's eye view, kind of. And I want you to pick then that moment. And what were the clues or the cues mm -hmm. that gave you the notion that they didn't want you around? How they talked to me. And how did they talk? Well, they just, it was very judgmental and... Just saying you're weird, or I don't understand you, or why, why do you want to do that, why do you think that? Okay. Now... Or just also how they look at you. Okay, how they look too, okay. So being that we're doing this at a bird's eye view, and I want you to imagine, of course, whatever age you were at, Okay. Mm -hmm. And now you're today's age, of course, too. Mm -hmm. So the bird's eye view is you today. Okay. Now, the little you, or whatever mm -hmm. imaginable age that yeah, you were. Yeah, young girl, probably. Like okay. Eight or nine, let's say. Yeah. Okay. So, the adult Megan, then, mm -hmm. is going to go back to the little, the little person. Okay. All right. And... The adult Megan is going to take her place. Okay. So, the younger version of you is at this moment mm -hmm. not you. Okay. You're you in today's world, but back then. Okay. All right. So imagine now the same scene, and they're you're, however you got into feeling judgmental. You know they're saying weird. You know what they were thinking or how they looked. How would you react today? Probably smile and say, "Well, this this is who I am, and this is what I want to do. I love you, but I'm gonna do it anyway." Uh huh. And how did they react to that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, breathe it out. Breathe it out. So, what's happening there? 
they still go away. They still don't want me. Um, okay. All right, go to your safe place. I'm okay, yeah. Yeah, but go to your safe place for a sec. All right. We're going to try something just different. It's just what popped into my head. Okay, now you're, again, bird's eye view, okay? Yep. But this time, it isn't you that's replacing you. It's me. Okay. The adult me today okay. is going to go hop into that same scene, okay. and I'm going to do whatever it is that you just did. Okay. What's the reaction? Um, they're just looking. Say it again. They're just looking. They're just standing there. Uh-huh. Why are they now just looking? Maybe it's a different energy or it's a different person. It's not me. Uh huh. So they can't. They know they don't have any really power over you or they can't influence you or whatever. Okay. So what might I say differently? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh huh. And what is my energy like while I'm there? It's just calm and peaceful and it's open. And okay, now are we saying that's different than what you were just in, even as the adult you? Uh, I think I was trying to be, but maybe it was not coming across that way or I wasn't totally, there's still something. Like okay, okay, we're going to fool around with this a little. What would happen now if I started just chatting my information like I do in school? Right. How do they respond? Uh, they're listening, but they're skeptical. Uh huh. Okay, good. Why are they skeptical? Because uh, they're not used to anything like that in their life. They've never explored or experienced or even gone there, tried anything like that. Uh huh. And how does that make them feel? If you could kind of pretend that you were in their body. Well, they're probably scared. They're probably totally scared or fearful. Oh. Do you find that interesting? Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh-huh. So, is that actually what happens when you chat? It scares them? I would say that's likely what's going on, yes. Mm. So, question, who has the problem? Well, that's their, that's their issue, that's their problem. Did you ever notice that before? Probably not. How does that make you feel now? <laughs> it makes me feel like laughing. It's so silly. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel... Um, sad. Okay. Why sad now? Because I missed out on lots of opportunities to be with these people when I wasn't. Ah. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change the image just a little here, okay? Yeah, and you like I didn't have to be alone, but I was. Okay, all right, that's good to know. Okay, remember the conversation you said about having with that guy on the phone? Yes. And you decided to just play it. Yes. You know, more his way than your way. Yes. Is this kind of like that? What would happen if you're with your family and then them, and you decided to play it their way? instead of your way, what would the outcome be? Well, I'd just I be mean, with them and listening and stuff, but I'd probably take some weird, awkward moments of them questioning me and asking me, I mean, it's happened. They don't understand really who I am or what I'm doing or why. Yeah. So I'd have to just face those questions and answer them. And what if you're the one that's asking the questions? <laughs> Instead of them asking you questions. Yeah, well, I've already tried that. It doesn't go very well. Why? What happens? They just shut down or yell at you or scream or call you names. What if you're only asking them questions on what they like talking about? Okay, so that would be very limited, but yes, I can do that. I have done that. Uh-huh. And then what happens? It's just a short, pleasant conversation, and then we're done. All right. Okay, so let's get back to the exact topic. The exact topic was scared of being alone. Scared of being alone. Okay. So 
So go back to your safe place for a second. And then what I want you to do is take a breath, wiggle your toes, and open your eyes for me. Come back to the moment. Okay. Okay. So, so far of what we just chatted about, yes. what did you notice? Well, I noticed really it's my perception of things, but also that it's... It's other people's... Issue, you know, what whether they choose to want to be with me or not. Okay. Like in terms of how they perceive me. So if they're scared of you. Right. Which. Okay, so. Or maybe when, they don't understand it or they're not willing to, they're not willing to meet me, like they're not willing to actually get to know me or understand me. Mm hmm. For whatever their reasoning is, it's just. Yeah. Okay. So, question. Yes. Is it possible that this isn't actually about being alone? That this is actually you wanting to be understood? Okay, fair enough. What do you think? Well, to me, to me, if I was understood, then I'd have someone with me who would want to understand me. Okay, so we're going to play a game, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, go back to your safe place. Okay. okay. All right. Enjoy your safe place. And kind of get rid of some of any of those feelings that you just had. Just, just feel good. All right. So what I want you to do now is, and I'll tell you ahead of times, and then you can... My whole body's shaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So with it, what I'd like you to imagine in a moment, what we're going to do, is we are going to imagine a perfect experience of what you think the perfect friend or the perfect family member or whatever that perfect is, okay? Okay. Okay. So just... Breathe in your safe place there and just relax. And this is going to be fun, so make this fun. This okay. is You're going to play this up a little. I don't care even if you exaggerate it, okay? Okay, yep. <laughs> All right. So now what you're going to do is in a moment, again, teleport or however you want to get to the moment. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the perfect experience. Well, okay. Um. Let the mind just play. Yeah. yeah. Well, what I see is a garden. Great. It's okay. There's just two people. It could be a, just a girlfriend or a friend, or it could be a man friend or a male friend. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And we're just sitting, having a drink, and we're out in our garden, and the sun's shining, and it just feels like it's the only place I ever want to be. Mm -hmm. And we're talking, and we're having fun, and we're laughing, and it just feels like this person really wants to be with me and know me. Great. And we have lots of fun. But also, it's like, that's not why they're there. They're there because they would want to be. Because they've chosen to be. Mm. Mm. And, yeah, it's just a really good feeling. Great. Okay, so I want you to go back to your safe place. Now, we're going to change the, the story a little again now, okay? Yep. This time, I want you to imagine if you have ever done, let's say, with your friends or family, what you want them to do, okay? Right. But they don't. Right. So, I want you to imagine now if there's any times in your life that you actually play out the same role, but to other people. Does that make sense? Of going towards them and being friendly to them or not doing that? Well, meaning that you don't really want to, so then you just leave. Kind of what your family has done to you, I guess. Um, Have you ever done it to somebody else? I'd probably say with my ex-husband, yes. In the sense of just shutting down and not wanting to communicate them. And why? Probably because I just didn't 
feel connected and based on what was happening. I just, it was in order for me to be safe. I had to do that. Okay, so the word safe. Yeah, to be protect myself, yeah. Okay. All right. Now, question. Anything similar to how your family feels? Oh, for sure. I mean, with my dad and my sisters, yeah, my mom, yeah, probably. I talk to your tribute, I'd have to go away to feel safe, yeah. Okay, you have to go away to feel safe. Yeah, because I wouldn't take their abuse or verbal abuse from them. Okay, right? all right. Any time, though, that they had to walk away to feel safe? Uh, okay, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, I'm no problem, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, go back to your safe place, please. Mm -hmm. Make it really safe. Yeah. Make it heavenly. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> awesome there. Yeah, exactly. okay. <laughs> Rejuvenate. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Somewhere in your subconscious, or maybe it's in your superconscious, you actually know the answer of how to feel safe and have fun and have this perfect little um, experiences, I'm going to call it, with your friends and family. So somewhere your subconscious actually knows the answer of how to fix this. All right. I want you to imagine your body, okay? And I want the secret to be somewhere in there. Tell me which part of your body has the secret to this answer. First one that comes. What was the first imaginable thought? Oh, right in here. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, great. So hold on to that spot. Mm -hmm. So on the stomach area there. And ask it, what is the secret? How do I fix this situation? What's the first answer? First one. Don't think about it. What's the first one? It's coming up like... Talk or laugh, talk or laugh. Okay, explain to me what that means. What is talk or laugh? Actually, give me more detail to that. Give me a scene or okay. something. How? Um, it's just say, just tell people who I am, just talk. Like, just start talking to people about who I am. Mm hmm. And how does that fix it? Fix it? That's a good question. Ask that spot. How does that fix it? How does that fix it? I don't think that fixes it. That was the first thought, not the second one? You didn't analyze it? No, I didn't know. It just, nothing came? Nothing came. All right. Ask the spot of your stomach there. Any other secrets to the answers? And then the first thing that comes back to you, I don't care how silly it seems. Well, it says yes, there are other secrets. And what are they? At least one, anyways. I have to let go of my fear. All right, ask your stomach, how do we let go of the fear? First thing that comes back again, doesn't matter how silly it might be. There's nothing coming right now. Meaning you don't have to do anything? Maybe. Ask it. Says, no, I don't. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So if you do nothing, it will just let go. I guess if that's what we're getting. All right. Yeah. Ask. Tell me that. Okay. Is that just nothing? Okay. Mm, says yeah. Okay. Ask the tummy if it's tricking you. Huh. 
And? It's kind of just a blank. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you believe that all you have to do is just let go and the fear just disappears? 10 being absolute. I'm absolutely trust. trust yeah. That. No, I'm probably at like 6. 6. All right. Ask your stomach what it would take to get to a 10 so that you absolutely believe that's that's all. What do you have to do to absolutely believe this? Oh, you got it, did you? All right. That's okay. If you want to share with us, go ahead. If not, that's fine too. At least, can he handle that? Can he handle the answer? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> All right. Stupid Tim Beaver. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> you want to tell us about that? <laughs> well, I just, I fell in love with him. And I, I think I'm greedy. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> and it's just because I don't see him, I don't talk to him, he's not around. I just think that's what it is. Okay. Would you like to let that I go? I just think it's so stupid. No problem. Do you I want to move so it? I feel so foolish. Would you like today to move that energy? <laughs> it would be nice, yeah. All right. <laughs> what color would that be? Great. Where is that in the body? It's in my heart. Okay. Imagine then that pink. Okay. Get the size and the shape and all that stuff. And then we'll do the vacuum cleaner one. So imagine a vacuum cleaner being, you know, attached to that area. And then I want you to bring in the crystal clear energy down through your head, pushing the pink out into the vacuum cleaner. Tell me when all the pink is gone. And if you need help, just tell me. Yeah, I need help. All right. You can do this, Megan. Crystal clear energy. It's okay to let this energy go. It doesn't seem to be benefiting you, does it? No. So do you want to keep this feeling? No. All right. So well, you have the power, okay? No. Just let the clear energy in. The vacuum cleaner sucking out the pink. There goes some. Okay. A little bit more. It's not the thought you're going to get rid of. It's just this yucky feeling, okay? Yep. And this feeling isn't benefiting you. Nope. Let it all go, because you're the only one that can. Tell me when it's all gone. You're doing great. My whole body's just vibrating. Yeah. Yeah. Did a great job. Yeah. Move it out. Oh, I'm such a fool. No, 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 no. You gotta remember too. Some of those emotions are child childhood stuff, right? They're yeah. they're younger emotions. Yeah. Not adult emotions. And we're not really silly when we're a kid. Those are real feelings. Yeah. Might be a little different now, but they're real then. Move them out. Let's make room for some new ones. I'm scared nobody's going to see me again. Oh, but we're here, so that's not true. Yeah. But in a way that's like a real... Here we go. I'm going to read that affirmation, okay? Yeah. Okay, here's what you gave me. I will affirm it is safe and rewarding for me to be vulnerable, defenseless, and open to receive love. move that pink out because we've got to bring this energy in. Yeah. Okay, so as okay. the pink moves out, is it all gone? It's almost, yeah. Okay, I'll read it one more time. I will affirm it is safe and rewarding for me to be vulnerable, defenseless, and open to receive love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the pink's gone. All the pink is gone? It's gone, yeah. Okay, and I want even the crystal clear now to be vacuumed. So start bringing in some of the crystal clear so we know all the pink is really gone. Okay. It's doing it? Yep. Super. 
Okay, so I think the goal that you've asked me for this affirmation, okay, is to be open enough to receive love. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Friends, family, and even partners. Yes. Okay, agreed? Yes. With that in mind, it's going to be a new color. What is this new color to help open you up to receive love, the real love, the Megan love? What color is that? It's like a purpley green. Okay, great. Crystallize it. Make it beautiful. Bring it in. It's now going to move out that crystal clear color into the vacuum cleaner. And I want you to fill up that new space with all this openness to receive this love, this beautiful new love. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Awesome. Fill it up so much that even some of this new color is going into the vacuum cleaner. A different thought in my head, but we're gonna we're gonna solidify this one. So remove the vacuum, seal it, seal in the top where the energy was coming in. Okay. But I want you to scan your body and just make sure that there's no other space that is holding this from happening.